What is up TCG Army, C-Money TCG here. Welcome back to another video. Today we've got um, a couple things of mail that I'm gonna go over with you guys, the very last packages of the entire year, I do believe. And then we're gonna do a little bit of a recap, just kind of over this last year. I accomplished more this year with collecting kind of uh, than I ever thought I would. I want to do a video at the end of the year just recapping all the crazy stuff that has come through the collection here. Um, I have a bunch of my slabs that like I just got this year sitting right here that we're just going to kind of show over, go over some uh, goals for next year and stuff and stuff you may look to see on the channel. Uh, this year I did a massive refocus on less, like less pack openings. I probably opened up maybe a third of the packs in 2021 that I did in 2020. Like I opened up so many packs in 2020 and that's what started this channel. This year I shifted to more collecting slabs and stuff. We did still open up a lot of packs. We did a lot of box breaks and stuff. Uh, but I focus more on just getting my own personal collection stuff up. And I'm going to keep kind of doing that as uh, the years go on. I have a list of just stuff that I want to um focus on this coming year so we'll go over that and see uh just some of the crazy stuff some of the stuff i have some of it i don't still have and uh we'll go over that so without further ado let's get started please subscribe if you are new hit that like button the bell turn on the notifications all those things that all does greatly support the channel <coughs> oh sorry about that a cough coming so first things first a couple things in the mail here that i need to Go ahead and open these are both personal collection items that i am very excited to get here uh from two different people the cards are very similar you'll notice but uh these are from two different sellers uh two different cards that i kind of wanted to just add to the collection that i've been looking for uh that uh i am very excited about i honestly probably should like open these boxes or at least gotten them started before coming on but that's okay Let's see here there we go all right first one first very easy this one's from tyler wingate over on facebook uh he did crazy packaging which is funny because this was the cheaper of the two i do believe wait he gave me two cards hold up are there two cards in here there's like two slabs in here what in the world hold up one of them is definitely okay this is not okay he just randomly gave me a psa 10 japanese sword and shield cinderace i thank you for the freebie tyler uh that's pretty cool <laughs> i wonder why he graded this i'm genuinely curious why this got graded oh well well cool a uh, freebie cinderace card Joe mint 10 that's pretty awesome then the card that I actually bought from him is also a Gem Mint 10 Japanese Mewtwo from First Edition Expedition. You have a crazy little swirl going right here by his tail back here. PSA 10 Expedition Mewtwo. Japanese. Um, beautiful card. Arguably a lot of people's favorite kind of Mewtwo art. This is the e-reader uh, you know, Mewtwo, obviously, and one that is just well known and just a lot of people's favorite me too i do love this card a ton crazy swirl there by his kind of hand and tail i wish that swirl was like right here or right here and that'd be even more sick but very very cool and thank you for the freebie dude you didn't have to throw me a free slab but i do greatly appreciate that that's pretty cool so uh, this next one's from watsy charizard guy alejandro on i'm not going to show his full name in case you don't want people to know that on uh Wow, he did not package this very well, but that's okay. I don't, it shouldn't be cracked. It doesn't look cracked or anything. This isn't a bubble mailer. Uh, this is a uh, very similar card, Mewtwo Expedition, but this one is PSA 9 English. Check out the bad swirl on this thing, man. Oh, I'm really glad this thing didn't get cracked just being a bubble mailer, but check out that crazy swirl right there. Oh, that thing is so sick. Uh, this Mewtwo is so gorgeous. Uh, which do y'all like better? PSA 10 Japanese. Or the English Hollow is a little bit crazier. And I think that's pretty consistent across the board. Like the Hollow just has more going for it in the English. So I really love both of these. Super cool to own them both. Um, in English and Japanese. So these are just two of the cards. Uh, going to my personal collection, probably the last two 
of the year. We'll throw Cinderace. Thank you very much for that. I'll throw that over there. But probably the last two cards kind of going into my collection this year. Um, and these are two that I don't plan on getting rid of. I'm going to tuck them in my collection. You know, I'm a big Mewtwo guy. So uh, very cool to get both of these cards in. Excited to have those. So without further ado, let's start going over some of the other stuff. Uh, this could take a little bit. So I want to jump into it. Don't want to focus too much on these, but two gorgeous, gorgeous Mewtwo's there. Uh, a lot of stuff happened this year. Uh, we jumped into uh, sports a little bit. I had a bunch of Luka Doncic cards come in. Uh, I had this that I graded myself, which is a King Rookie Jr. Mike Trout Ronald Acuna from Triple Threads 2021, numbered four of nine, graded myself. Got a 9.5, uh, almost a true 9.5 there. Didn't want to give me it on edges. This is a pop one, super cool. Uh, I had a Luka Doncic auto come through that was absolutely nutty. Base, pink, uh, the mosaic, stained glass. Uh, we jumped into Dragon Ball this year. Like, this is the first year that we jumped into Dragon Ball, and we jumped in really deep into Dragon Ball here. Uh, BGS 10, Sun Goku Jr. I actually pulled this myself. This is the card that started me. I pulled the Goku and Frieza graded at BGS 10. BGS 10, Apex of Power. Then some of these signatures were BGS 10s, but I sold them to add more and get some cash on hand. PSA 10, Goku. BGS 10 Vegito, probably my favorite card because I love Vegito. PSA 10 Vegeta, PSA 10 Frieza, and then PSA 10 Ultimate Force SSB Vegito. So I jumped head on into Dragon Ball, into DBS, and I am looking forward to uh, adding to this this year. Very cool. I love Dragon Ball Super a ton, love the show, grew up with it, and all those things. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, I'm going to go over here to my list of goals that I had. A couple things with DBS I want to do this year. Um, PSA 10 Awaken Power. That is kind of the DBS grail, I guess. That This is another big one for DBS that I did actually acquire. Um, so PSA 10 Awaken Power. Um, finish off my signature set. I need Trunks, Gohan, Beerus, and Hit to figure out to finish off the SIGs. Um, I did have Trunks already in a BGS 10, but I actually traded it to get some of these other cards. So very cool there. And uh, maybe so. I mean, there's several other DBS cards just coming out and stuff that I love. I've been really just enjoying DBS. And I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing some more of it on the channel. I am a big fan of of the cards and you're gonna see a lot more of that coming this year as i add more dbs to the collection all right pokemon uh these are all cards that i add this year is by no means all of them so many things have been bought sold traded all those things so we're gonna go over just a few of the cards obviously you just saw these two mewtwo's that got added just now um uh this lugia 10th movie promo check out the swirl and his wing here uh, explosive birth Lugia, not necessarily a huge one there. Uh, here's a big one. Speaking of Mewtwo, Shining, uh, or sorry, Gold Star Mewtwo PSA 9. I got a 7 of this last year and actually sold the 7 and upgraded to a 9 this year, which was super cool. Uh, first edition Shining Mewtwo, BGS 9. It's a 9 plus, 9.5, 9.5, 9, and 9. First edition, I did have one uh, unlimited of this that I graded. I graded at eight. I was big sad. Said, uh, let's sell that. And I got a first edition nine, which is super cool. Incredible Mewtwo card. Uh, this one's actually still for sale. I took this one in on trade. Um, this is an autographed Arita PSA 9. Pop 11, none grade hider. There are no tens in existence. This is the pre release of Evolutions. I'm asking 3,000 or best offer on this if you want a killer Zard to kick off your uh, 20. 22 uh nothing else on here is really for sale except for this guy so added this this is an awesome card uh you like crystals because i know i do uh this is a crystal celebi um big swirl right here kind of in the corner tucked in the woods there right there you can kind of see it's almost a double swirl over there in that corner uh absolutely gorgeous got that the exact same day that i got this psa 9 aquapolis crystal lugia so psa 10 celebi PSA 9 Lugia, freaking incredible cards. I love crystals so much. Uh, we added not one, but two BGS 9.5 Skyridge Crystal Charizards. I actually traded one of them um, to, I had to get some cash kind of back 
stuff. So this is the crown jewel of my collection, favorite card I own. I also had a PSA 8 come through my hands this year. Uh, one of my big collection goals is to add a uh, Japanese Mysterious Mountains version of this and some kind of a decent grade uh, to the collection. So this is my favorite card of all time. This one is one that's never leaving unless I somehow get like a PSA 10. Uh, absolutely amazing card, my favorite card. So uh, the big three crystals that we added this year. Uh, one of my goals for next year is to finish my uh, crystal collection. So that's what Kingdra, Kabutops, Gollum. I had it written down here. Nido King, Ho -Oh, and Crobat. I still need. So and then I'm also going to try to get the uh, Mysterious Mountains in a uh, you know a, a decent grade in BGS or PSA. So. There we go. There are my crystals. Some of my absolute favorite cards. We'll leave those out. Uh, Gold Star Umbreon. I don't know where I added this. Uh, there's a trade with uh, Clayton Washburn. Absolutely awesome dude. I think it's Clay's Collectibles on Instagram. Free incredible card. One I didn't think I would ever own. This The opportunity to get this with the 9.5 service came up. Couldn't turn it down. So we got a Gold Star Umbreon. Uh, one of my absolute favorite cards that we added this year was a BGS 9.5 Skyridge Umbreon. I actually had multiple of this card come through. I had two PSA 9s and a PSA 9 Japanese come through as well for Split Earth. I may want to try to grab a Split Earth um, again because um, I do really like the Japanese too. But this is this one's my baby. I love the not. This is the, actually the highest in terms of subgrades: three nine fives and a ten. This was uh, the highest BGS in existence. There are no BGS 10s, and this is the highest graded one in terms of subgrades. And I, this would easily cross to a PSA 10, I believe. Um, but I'm probably going to keep it just like this. Uh, it's like a Pop 7 in BGS, and like I said, this is the highest grade one. I prefer BGS slabs, just personally. I have something about them in the gold label. They just look incredible to me. But I'm probably going to keep this. It's in my personal collection, so... Uh, just how incredible the freaking card looks is just amazing. So I am perfectly fine with it being a 9.5. Absolutely incredible. And another one, big one we had this year was the PSA 9 Gold Star Charizard. So, I mean, other things. I went ahead and just pulled up my Instagram here. Other things that kind of came through. Uh, we had the Battle Fest of Mewtwo I just sold. Uh, here is that Split Earth Umbreon. Um, gosh, there are so many things. Uh, Rainbow Zard, the PSA 7 was last year. We had a PSA 9 LC Mewtwo. Um, Black Label Mewtwo was earlier this year. Uh, I sold or traded that. There's been so many. We had a freaking uh, BGS 9 Skyridge Crystal Charizard and a PSA 8. Uh, PSA 8 Reverse Hollow Skyridge Charizard. Um, uh, oh, I can't forget the Rayquaza. We had a Cold Star Rayquaza come through the collection, which was absolutely insane. So, uh, I mean, just so many things, man, came through the collection this year. Um, Neo Umbreon. Here were some of the uh, BGS 10 and stuff of DBS. First edition Charizards. We had my, I had the PSA 5 first edition Charizard. Picked it up in the back room of a sushi restaurant in Fort Worth, Texas. We actually cracked it. That video is on my YouTube as well. I cracked it and it came back as a BGS 7.5, which is somewhere on here. I think I actually just posted it recently. So we had a BGS 7.5 come back because it was just that clean. Uh, I actually traded that for my second 9.5 Skyridge. And uh, anyway, it, it, I'm going to get another first edition Charizard this year. That's one of the big goals. And then some of my goals. Let's just go over some of these real quick. Uh, PSA uh, or BGS 8.5 first edition Zard. Finished my crystal set. Uh, PSA 10 Awakened Power went over that. PSA 10 Rockets Mewtwo. I sold my PSA 9 thinking I had a deal for PSA 10 locked in. And it unfortunately fell through. So I need to get a PSA 10 Rockets Mewtwo from Team Rocket Returns. That's my favorite one. We went over the signature set. Um, PSA or BGS 10 Karen's Umbreon. Um, the one that's on here is the Japanese Crystal Zard. Uh, that is going to be one. And then a PSA 10 or 9.5 Aquapolis Umbreon. So those are some of my goals. I may or, They're really hefty goals. So I may or may not reach all of them. But man, it this year just kind of proved that, I mean, if you just really sit down and try to, you know, 
accomplish stuff. I mean, just look at all these slabs that came through this year. It was an absolutely nutty year. It really, really, really was. I mean, shoot, maybe this could be a thumbnail for me here. Like, here, let's even, here, you know what? We're going to do this. We're going to take my camera off the screen here. And you're just going to, like, I mean, just look at this. It's, like, it just proves to me, to myself, that, you know, if you kind of just really focus and set your mind to something, like, you can accomplish just about anything you want in this hobby. You really can. You're only limited to what, you know, you kind of limit yourself to almost. Like, it's kind of, and that's been something I've learned this year that's just been super, you know, a lesson for me and something that I hope you guys kind of learn too. Because, I mean, it's just, this hobby is really fun. Don't put yourself in a bad position financially or whatever with it. But, uh... It's a really fun hobby, and I think, you know, you can get out of it as much as you want to put in. So that's going to be it for me today, guys, though. Thank you so much for this year, for an awesome, awesome year. I do greatly appreciate it. I love you guys. I'm kind of rambling at this point. So uh, thank you for another incredible, incredible year, and i uh, looking forward to big things in uh, 2022. Later. Yeah.